Hello designers and welcome back to Design School for WordPress Beginners. In the previous video, we have designed a universal template that has this content area and sidebar. In this video, let's design the sidebar itself in a way which is pleasing to the user. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. And in case you didn't watch the previous video where we designed the universal template, which is the same template that we'll use to design each and every page such as archives page, categories page and a lot more. Make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future updates. With that being said, let's dive right in. So here's our sidebar that we designed in the previous video. And we want to have a sidebar that has a series of widgets or sections, right? So these are the different sections and for each section, make sure the background is set to white because we want this particular template to appear. And we've already set the background of the whole section to be gray. So this white section will be properly highlighted as you can see here. This is our universal template and you can see how that's highlighted. So make sure each section that you create has a white background. So here is a section that I created and it's a heading. There's another heading and there are some social icons. Make sure you add your own social links here. And that's how you achieve the first part of WP Beginners widget design. And the second part is to have a background image, a text formatted in some sort of way and a call to action button. It's quite easy. And remember, whenever you create a sidebar, make sure the content is always in the middle of the section, which is because when you create a sidebar and when you compress it, the section will properly appear. And basically the mobile version of the sidebar is how your sidebar will appear to the user. So this is my sidebar. So let me duplicate this once and currently I'll just work in mobile. And uh, the first thing I want to have is a proper formatted text. You can achieve this by dragging a rich text editor instead of a proper heading widget. So just click, I'll get this out of the way. Just click and drag text editor right into the place. Let me delete this. Let me delete the heading widget that was previously there. And let me give how to design a website. Right. This is pretty basic, but as you can, as you know, you can design any thing that you want with this classic editor. I'll make this heading three to make it pop up. I'll select this and color it to red maybe and I'll align the whole thing to center. So that looks great. And I want to have a button instead of a heading widget. So I'll remove this and I'll click on this. Just drag a button into this just below this and I'll make the button justified so that it occupies the whole space available. And here I'll just name it start here. And if you want, you can format your rich text widget as you want. You can maybe just make it a block code. So you see how that appears here. And now let's set a background to this. Click on this section, click on style and let's set a background image to this. Maybe, maybe this one, I guess, or maybe this one. And yeah, it looks great. So I'll settle with that and just duplicate this and do this as many times as you want. And just click on this section. Click on height, click on minimum height and adjust the height as per your liking. So if you like, if you want more width or more room for your content, just adjust the slider and there you go. So 
you you can duplicate this as many times as you want and you can remove the social icons as you can just have social icons once and make sure you have your proper links over there and also remove this here and just create another call to action button if you want and there is a call to action button and here is another button and make sure you link this whole thing or maybe this button to a page just paste your link which will guide users to that particular page and the next thing is to have set of icons right icon list so i'll remove this i'll just duplicate it and i'll click on this i'll search for icon icon list and i'll remove this i'll maybe place a heading above it maybe i'll call it some important links and change the style of the text to maybe black so that it pops out a bit and just customize the icon and give it a title and a link similar to what you see here and if you want some spacing between them go to style and drag them and adjust it however you want maybe if you want a series of links just put them like that and and adjust this as well and make sure you replace the text with whatever text and the link with the link pointing to that particular page and if you want you can also have a call to action button if not you can simply remove it and just duplicate this section because we have set some properties to this section so it's really good to duplicate this section click on this plus button and if you want to add a third party widget to this area just drag the text editor widget to here and in the text area just copy the short code whichever short code you have for that widget just copy that short code here and that widget will appear in this area so it's as easy as that and add as many widgets as you want and this is how your sidebar will look on your website and your sidebar will only be visible in desktop version but not in mobile and tablet versions so once you're happy with your sidebar click on update and as we have linked the sidebar to the design itself it will be updated accordingly so click on refresh and wait for it to refresh the design and you can see our new sidebar in action so this will be available in our universal template and as we are going to derive other designs from this template this sidebar will remain constant throughout the website and you can have a look at it adjust it however you want and Make sure you paste the short codes of your third party widgets, whichever you have. Maybe something like AdSense widgets, short codes. Maybe you have Ad Inserter widget for that. So you can just paste that here and your ad will appear. You can remove the background in that case and just play with it and see how it looks on your website. And if you're happy with it, just click on that and that will be your sidebar and hope you enjoyed this video we have a lot more exciting stuff coming in and we're st we've already started designing each and every page of our website and once again if you didn't watch the previous video in which we designed universal template go watch it i highly recommend it and if in case you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up let me know what you guys think in the comments down below 
and there is a lot and lot to share with you and i can't just wait to share it with you and i'll talk to you guys in the next video catch you peace so there you have it and if you found this video helpful make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on some amazing new updates